Meet Ted, a hard-working citizen and a family man. Hello, Ted. Wait a minute, what's that sound? Oh no, it's the nuclear bomb alarm. Not to worry. The government's superb early warning system gives Ted enough time to take cover. Don't just stand there, Ted. You've got 60 seconds. Hey everybody, Akira here. Welcome to 60 Seconds, a post-apocalyptic nuclear fallout bomb shelter cold war survival simulator game it sounds good uh so basically this game is two parts uh first part is going to be above ground you run around your house desperately for 60 seconds as the as the uh, nuclear air raid sirens are going off and you grab all your items that you need to survive family members are optional but you can grab them if you really want to and throw them down into the shelter and then after 60 seconds you better be down there yourself because there's going to be a nuclear blast and after that you survive in the shelter and occasionally when it's safe to do so go up uh, send one person at a time whatever to the surface to do a little scavenging and hopefully the end goal is to be rescued by the government so let's see how we do okay now, Atomic Drill is a tutorial. Apocalypse is the full game where it combines the first part scavenge and the second part su survival. And so we're going to go ahead and do Apocalypse. Now, Little Boy is the easy mode. And then you have Fat Man, which is normal mode, and Sarbamba, which is hard. Um, I've never been able to beat it on easy mode, so I think we should go ahead and try normal mode. That makes sense. And uh, begin an adventure. See what happens. All right, everybody. We basically get a couple seconds here just to look around. The house is randomized. There's a gas mask there. Where's the uh, med kit? Okay, I really want the med kit if I can. Okay. Ah, just grab stuff. Okay, we'll grab all that food, some water. Let's grab um, the radio. That's probably the, one of the most essential items. And grab our little kid. And oh, well, let's grab the bug spray in this case. I'll take this here. I think we're going to grab the med kit and the axe. And the axe here. There we go. We're full up again. Let's throw, throw, throw it. There we go. Gee, mini Christmas. That was tough. We need some more water. Alright, there we go. So, let's grab our daughter. Throw her down there, and then let's grab our little son here. Grab the map, I guess. Gas mask. And our son. Where's he at? Or did I already grab my son? I think I did. Did I? Okay, I don't know. We're going down with what we got here. Hopefully we grab the old family members. I think I got them. Not sure. <gasps> hey! Everybody is present and accounted for. Wow, I got lucky on that one. Phew. Phew. Dolores would have been Dolores would have been so pissed if I forgot one of the kids. Mary Jane, uh Timmy, and Ted. Say hello. We got a map, we got a radio, we got an axe, we got a bug spray, we got Three cans of soup, three bottles of water, first aid kit, dead gas mask. That's a, actually that's a pretty good start. The only thing we're missing is like a deck of cards and some, a uh, little bit of, uh, some checkers maybe. And uh, the flashlight would have been really nice. Sometimes that's, now see I don't think that matters. You put in little X's places, but uh, it's kind of cool. All right, so this is where we're gonna spend the majority of our game now. And uh, we're gonna control everything through our journal here. Day one, all of us made it into the shelter just a second before the blast. That was a close one. <laughs> Not like the last nuclear apocalypse event that we had. As long as we're all together, we can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. There's just barely enough water for everyone. That's not too bad. Three bottles isn't bad. We'll have to ration it strictly. All right. So we're not going to give anybody any food or water. This is where I would do so if I wanted to. Um, one water for one person uh, ration is going to be a quarter of a bottle so as you can see that would take up a full bottle there we're going to take that back you can give everybody water all at once if i click in there or click on soup and give everybody soup or you can just give some one person uh, soup and water like so but we're going to ration it so nobody gets anything right now and it's not easy to be calm in these circumstances hopefully we will keep our peace or else we might need to act like wolves, survival of the fittest and all. That's right. Day two. 
Got a little disheveled hair, got a little five o'clock shadow. Dolores looking dapper. Mary Jane still looking, uh, I don't know, introverted. Timmy's looking curious. A little too curious for some place as small as this. We're trying our best to remain calm. The situation we're in so far in is far from normal, and we might never get used to it. We hope that help comes soon. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new helping to marry Jane today. Despite desire, circumstances, and all the trouble we're going through, Timmy is being very brave. Dolores is quite calm given this situation. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble, nothing new. Now, some of this I'm going to skim through as we get. It gets a little repetitive, so I'll just paraphrase basically. Um, but uh, I'm going to try to read the first few days verbatim the best I can. Time to ration supplies. We're not going to give anybody anything yet. Uh, normally you can go about four days before you need to give somebody water and you can go a little bit longer without food. So The contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging these conditions could result in radiation sickness. That's pretty good. Normally it says that it's extremely radiated on day two, but this is actually a pretty good message because it, it, it is offering you the possibility that you can come back without radiation sickness. Typically it says, yeah, I guess you could go out if you don't mind getting sick. This is a lot different than that. So Ted seems to be in really good shape for a trip. Dolores is in pretty good shape. Mary Jane is feeling excellent. Timmy seems uh, quite enthusiastic about the trip. I think I'm going to send Mary Jane out since she feels excellent. Uh, you would expect a nuclear explosion. Would it be enough to quench any petty arguments when the future is not looking too pretty and all you see is naked walls, not much is necessary for an explosion? Uh, it happened. We started fighting like crazy. All right, I think that's because I don't have a checkerboard or any type of entertainment down there. People are just getting on each other's nerves a little, so let's send uh, Mary on up here. There's nothing better than the quiet after storm, or was it the other way around? We should get Mary something to drink. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores will not last long without water. Where is water when Ted needs it? Let's go ahead and get everybody, uh, it's day three. We're not gonna use water on day three. Uh, Mary Jane's going to go outside. We're feeling pretty optimistic about today's expedition. Only thing left to do is choose the right person to go outside. So Mary Jane it is. You can only choose one person. So off she goes. Day four. Hopefully she returns. Sometimes people don't return. It's There is an off chance that they may not return. All right, let's read the journal here. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back soon. Tim doesn't need much, but he should drink. There has to be some water left. Laura should get it. Ted is really thirsty. So day four, we're going to go ahead and drink, give everybody something to drink. And as you can see, Mary Jane does not get her ration since she's on the surface. So she has to fend for herself right now. Good luck to you, Mary Jane. We might be safe in these inside these walls, but three, there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. Otherwise, it might end up falling asleep in the face of real danger, like saucer men from Mars. So we're going to use the med kit to make sure that everybody gets good sleep. Otherwise, they start to really get on each other's nerves. It can drive people, make them fatigued, tired, so they can't even go out for expeditions. It can drive them crazy. So we're going to use the med kit to try to quell that before it becomes an issue. Day five. Hopefully, Mary Jane comes back with a new med kit. That would be nice. All right. Our first aid kit was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we'd use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. Yummy. We're all rested now and can enjoy our time in a shelter. Or can we? I don't know. It's, a bit, it's what you make of it, man. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will that last? How long will it last? If there's anything to report about Dolores, this is where it would have been... Written, Ted is not complaining today, at least not very much, so everybody's doing pretty decent. All right, so let's keep going. Timmy's not doing great. It would be good to talk to him and cheer him up. Just said he was doing okay. So since everybody else is in pretty good mental state, I'm going to go ahead and talk to him. If you have somebody who's completely insane, like people can go crazy down here, um, it's not a good idea to try to use an insane person to try to cheer somebody up. It just, it's not, it clashes. Day six. All right. What have we got? Even a word or two may be enough to brighten someone's mood. <clears throat> Excuse me. Timmy seems to be better now. Timmy seems okay as much as he can be in our current situation. Today's been fine for Dolores thus far. No new problems or trouble in Ted this time. Now, as you notice, we haven't fed anybody yet either, and they're not complaining yet. All right. 
we're gonna skip it. I think they'll start complaining on day seven. There's no last space down here and we can smell everything. When one of the wall bricks got loose today, it revealed a hole. We felt pretty sick. It's a smell coming from a hole. It's terrible. Should we investigate and remove the source of the stench? Yes. I vote yes. What do you guys think? Hmm. Sometimes these random events can be negative if you do them versus not do them, but I think we're gonna go for it. We got an axe, so there's something crazy going on in that hole. We can should be able to cut it up. We approached the hole cautiously, peeked inside. What happened next? Nearly gave us a heart attack. Some crazed rodent, a reptile, or whatever. This crazy mad creature was up and left out and started jumping all over the damn shelter. It was everywhere. We couldn't catch it before we could do anything. It pushed our radio off the... Oh. Urgh, that was the... Why did you guys tell me to do that? It was pushed pushed our radio off the table and went back in the hole it crawled from. We never saw it. Why didn't you use the axe to kill the thing? Timmy doesn't need much but a radio. You should drink. The horse will not last long without water. If Ted doesn't drink anything, it won't last long. So let's, let's uh, go another day and then we'll give him something to drink. God. You know, very little... Oh, this is where I'd be using my radio. Thanks, guys. You know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea if we could find out more. Maybe discover if anybody made the safety or radio could help with this. So much for hearing the government's instructions on what we needed to do to get rescued. Okay, I'm a little worried about Mary Jane. It's been a while. They say ignorance is bliss. Another day without any clue of what's going on might not necessarily kill us. How about getting Timmy something to drink? Everybody wants something to drink. Oh, and Ted's stomach is rumbling, so... We're going to get Ted something to eat and drink, and then we're going to... We're actually going to wait on that. We're just going to do drinks. For all. <laughs> First round's on me. Alright. What's that tri trickling around, and why is the wall so wet? Are we about to get flooded? We don't have life pre preservers or a boat, or... A boat wouldn't even fit inside the shelter. We need to do something to save the supplies. Well, we don't have these two supplies down here, so... The only one we're going to save is the map, which is no-brainer. We used to have that one down there, but it's already broke, so... Oh! Here she comes. She's back! What she? Oh, she brought a med kit! And water! And a new radio! Yes! Mary Jane, you the bomb, yo! Ha <laughs> ha Yeah! That's what I'm talking about! Well, that's lucky. The shelter is filled with water pretty rapidly. And we were... Nah, it came after the flood. That was perfect! And we were certain we were going to drown. With our heads barely above water, we weren't even able to open a hatch and escape. Before we could start considering the worst, the water level started to drop. We're fine, save for the mess we need to deal with. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to shelter from the surface. We ran into airdrop crates during our expedition. Awesome. We should probably be thankful to, the pres to President Fonda for organizing drops for the survivors, providing he's still in the one in charge. Getting your country nuked during your term just doesn't sound like a good thing to put on your resume. A food drop, that's what we needed. What did they drop this time? Bread, cheese, meat, chocolate? No, to make more <laughs> tomato soup cans, hooray! Plus two tomato soups. Someone forgot to fill the water crate something, uh, with something to soften the fall. As a result, most of the bottles were shattered. Luckily, a few of them survived. That should be enough to keep us going for a bit. Plus two water. Every responsible and respectable family needs a first aid kit filled with some high quality drugs. We were running short, so the opportunity to replenish them was something we were eager, eagerly awaiting. We just didn't expect a medical container to fall on another scavenger's head. That was pretty traumatic and ironic. We might need some drugs to cope with the memory. All right, so we got plus one on the med kit. Our supplies didn't did not uh, include working radio. The problem was we weren't able to find one in any. That's not true. That's not true. We brought one down and just got knocked off the table by a rat. Uh, we weren't able to find in one in any of the drop crates. Eventually, we encountered a box full of toasters. We spent some time tinkering with them using trial and error. That's probably what took so long. And ended up with a radio that occasionally works. We call that a win. I do too. That was a great expedition. Damn it, our gas mask was in damage during the expedition. Oh well. Jane's diet could use a little food. She could use thirsty. Timmy's good. Dolores is good. Ted's hungry. So let's get Mary Jane there and let's get him some food. Man, we're doing. We're living the life of Riley right now. Alright, so. Uh, state of the wasteland remains unknown to us. Maybe one of us should risk going to go out after all. You can only live once. So that message is like completely different than. You know, if you go out, you're going to get sick, basically. 
So Ted's vigorous enough to withstand a hazardous wasteland. Dolores is in pretty good shape. Mary Jane's more than ready to go out. She's ready to go again. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. I think we want to send Ted out. That sounds like a pretty positive uh, sta uh, status, I guess. So yeah, we're going to do that. We're not alone. There's huge hairy bunny beast. That, seems, that, that, that sounds like dinner to me. It seems to be hiding in one of the pipes. It's been poking its head out, eyeing our measly food stash. We can't let it get to it. We can't let it be in here when we sleep. Benicula, yo. Kill that Benicula bunny with the freaking axe. Chop its little red-eyed head off. All right, here we go. Our cans are saved. Too bad for the hairy mutant. Guess we're still top of the food chain. Good for us. All the way down here, we're still top of the food chain. Aren't there any drugs that could give Mary Jane? Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and give her some drugs. Tim is very hungry. Dolores would really love to eat something. Ted's stomach is rumbling. Okay, so Ted's stomach is rumbling. We already fed him, though, didn't we? Timmy's very hungry, and she would love... Let's go ahead and do that. And let's give her some meds. I kind of want to save the meds for when the next person gets back, but... She is sick. I don't want her to die on us. Enough sitting around. It's time to visit the surface to look for additional supplies. Maybe something survived the blast. Maybe someone's still alive. Let's find out. Who should go? I think we voted on Ted. So let's send him. Maybe you can find some razors and a Floby. Day 11. Mary Jane is all well now. How about getting Timmy something to drink? He's not looking well. Dolores will not last long without water. Ted left for the surface. Hope we hope he'll be back soon. Okay, so let's get him something to drink. Mary's good to go, and Dolores needs water, so a drink for you and a drink for you. Ah, wish I could play some cards. We didn't think we'd get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game, but that's what we were offered by a man who knocked on our door today. Two cans of food. We win. We get his two cans. We lose. We loose. Loose. That's loose, guys. You need to correct that. L. O S E. We lose. We give him our two cans. Are we? Why do people always screw that up? All right. Are we going to do it? No, because we don't have the cards. It's a moot proposition, and that's moot with two O's, unlike loose or lose in that case. All right. Day twelve. Gambling is a terrible habit. What kind of example is that set for the kids? It wasn't because it never happened. We need supplies, but we're not getting them like with that. We'd sooner rob someone. Okay. We sent that man away. Good riddance. Mary Jane is quite hungry. She's very thirsty. Timmy's good. At least he was five minutes ago. Dolores is fine and well as much. So Mary Jane needs hooked up. Can't be in this f uh, fine and well in this tiny shelter. Okay. So Mary Jane needs both. We can keep... No. We're going to listen to the radio. So... There we go. Um, we can keep, keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. So, yes, we're going to definitely use the radio. I hope Ted comes back soon. Day 13. I think he left on day 9, I think can't remember. Maybe it's day 10. We knew it. The government has not fallen and they're coming to save us. They didn't give us exact dates on the radio transmission, but they're sh but we're sure they won't keep us waiting long. They said they will be... Yeah, ask Katrina. Talk to some people from freaking New Orleans for Katrina. Okay, they said they would be in touch in a couple of days and told us to wait for their instructions. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't in this coffin-sized shelter? Timmy is good. Well, at least he was five minutes ago. Everything seems okay with Dolores. Everybody's good to go. Let's keep moving. It's not easy to become in these circumstances. Hopefully we'll keep our peace. Or else we might need to act like wolves. Survival the fittest and all. Deja vu. And all. Day 14. Everyone's looking pretty decent. No complaints so far. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like that. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to start. And try to bring some cheerfulness to our lives. There isn't anything new bothering Mary Jane. Timmy should eat something. Timmy doesn't eat much, but he should drink. Dolores is not eating for a while. Dolores will not last long for without water. So let's go ahead and... Uh, 
Dolores and Timmy, right? Mary Jane's good to go. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. For an isolated fallout shelter, we sure have a lot of disturbances. Something has been making a lot of noise since dawn and we couldn't sleep. It seems to be coming from under the floor, and coincidentally, we just found a manhole that we could use to go down and check out what's going on. Take your axe with you, since we don't have a flashlight. It'd be nice if he returned with a flashlight. Day 15. Still no Ted. Ooh, I'm starting to get worried. We found a treasure down there. Oh, another med kit. Pill bottle, pills, bottles, and other medical supplies were stacked just a few shelves down in a narrow room. Just enough to stock our first aid kit. Good for us. We didn't find the source of the noise. Mary Jane is very thirsty. Has to drink something. Timmy's okay as much as he can be. Dolores should be good to go too, so let's get her some water. Our guest mess has been badly worn out and doesn't really protect against anything. It's a good time to have a go at fixing it. Oh, you could use that to fix a gas mask. Interesting. Okay. Did not know that. Oh, he's back. Ted's back. What did he bring us? Oh, he brought us a checkerboard and... Dude, you went out for five days and brought back a checkerboard. Please tell me you brought me some more soup or something. We don't, really don't know how to repair it, so it's probably the best to leave it alone. Ted has safely returned from his voyage. A little trip to the service might have been we might have been spotted and followed. Yeah, and you brought back trailers. Great. We should have been more we should be more careful next time. Yes, Ted, you should. Our family would never visit a bar, never ever, unless it was the apocalypse and we were out of food and water and just happened to run into one of those establishments. Guess what? We did. So who would have known? That tomato soup used to be such a popular snack at a bar. We found a few cans of it and took them with us. Plus one soup. We didn't expect to find any clean water at the bar, and we were, weren't wrong. Uh, whatever we found wasn't pure, and it wasn't water. But hey, if it quenches the thirst, it counts. Fire water, plus two. No, just regular water. We found a set of checkers in one of the tables. What crazy, crazy people play checkers while drinking beer. Oh my gosh, scandalous. Mary Jane's feeling safe, so she's good to go. Tim seems okay. Dolores is good to go. Ted is rumbling stomach. We're going to leave him for another day. And we'll see what the status is. It seems awful quiet outside. Maybe safe, maybe it's not. We won't know until we go out. Team Ted seems good to go. Dolores is confident she'll survive. Wasteland is no match for Mary Jane. I think I'm going to send Mary Jane again. She did really good last time. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go into the Wasteland. Alright, yeah, I think we're going to go with Mary Jane. Um, there has been some radio chat about airdrops from the military. It's about time all those taxes had to pay for a crate or two right for us, right? Shall we head out to get a moot point? No, f no gas mask to use. So, day 17. Alrighty. It's too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to radio. The static is so relaxing. Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. How about getting Timmy something to drink? So, Mary Jane needs food. Water for Dolores. Ted's stomach's rumbling. So, Mary Jane needs food. Everybody else needs water. Okay. I'm going to wait one more day on that. Wait, let me double check. I don't want anybody dying. Uh, Timmy needs water. It says Dolores. Ted. Okay, we're just going to go ahead and make sure they get what they need. She needs food, he needs food, everybody needs, oops, food, everybody needs water. I think Dolores needs, or I think she needs water. Yeah, no, she doesn't really. So let's take that back. There we go. I think that's good. Enough sitting around, it's time to visit the surface. Look for additional supplies, maybe someone survived the blast, maybe someone's still alive, let's find out. Mary Jane. Do what you do best. And I don't mean to play the tuba. Day 18. Alright, Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope, hope she hurries back soon. Tim is very hungry. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Ted's stomach is rumbling. So, Timmy's very hungry. Let's go ahead and feed Timmy. We've been busy since we got to the shelter, but there's still much to be done, like trimming that shrubbery in our yard. That definitely is something we want to do when we get out of here. Oh yes. Yes, priorities. Day 19. Nice to hear something from the radio. 
I don't think that does anything. I really don't think turning that on does anything manually like that. It just makes a little sound effect. Let's leave all those questions uh, be for now. Nothing new to report to me. Dolores is not eating for a while. Time to do something wrong. That's right, fine. We were able to retreat. Oh, there we go. We were able to receive another message from the government. The military is preparing a rescue mission. They want all survivors to head to a specific uh, location and area and leave a sign that someone is still alive and kicking nearby. Problem is, they provided us with geographical coordinates, but we need a map to find out where we're supposed to be headed. Otherwise, it's just complete gobbledygook. Uh, so yeah, we're going to use the map, of course. Day 20. Uh oh, he's coming down with the. Uh, I don't know. It's not looking good. Cat scratch fever. A quick glance at the map gives us all the information we require. We left him a message in a bottle. We can't leave Timmy without water for too long. Dolores would really love to eat something. Dolores has to drink sometime. So he needs to drink. She needs to eat and drink. Uh, Ted's hungry. He needs to drink and he's sick. So. Timmy's the only one that really doesn't need to eat eat. So we'll just give him that. We'll hook these two up and we'll get him some meds. Dolores has not been very talkative lately. Should we chat with her and find out what's going on? Sure. Nobody's having mental issues, so let's do it. Day 21. Ah, Ted's all better. Med kit's gone, but hopefully Mary Jane comes through and brings us another med kit. Even if it is at the expense of another survivor, survivor's head, talking to Dolores helped resolve some of her issues and doubts. She feels better now. Talk it out. Talk it out. If that doesn't work, hug it out. Tim is pretty fatigued. Dolores would really love to eat something. Uh, Ted's hungry again. He has recovered from his sickness. So, Dolores eat. Ted hungry, and Timmy just needs rest. Right. So, there we go. Some of was very is very serious about banging on the hatch. We're scared to open it, but it might be some good news, right? We would gladly welcome any friendly face, even if it was our neighbor Ned. Ned and Ted. <laughs> We're pretty sure that if there was any reason why our town got bombed, he would be that reason. <laughs> Shall we open? Yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> What's the worst that could wander up to your secured hatch with fully stocked with rations and uh, supplies? Middle of a apocalypse. What, what's the worst you could have? Yeah, let's open that door. Hey, is she back? She's back. She looks a little ragged. Oh, we got a new gas mask and a new med kit. She is so freaking awesome. Oh, look at that. We got an overflow. We got overstock of. We got 5.25 cans of food. 4.25 cans of or bottles of water. We got bug spray. We got Dolores. We got Ted, who's fatigued. Mary Jane's fatigued. Anna tired. He's fatigued. All right, things are, uh, things are looking pretty good. Turned out it was a nice, mysterious fellow in a weird suit. He gave us some soup games. This will help us survive the next couple of days. Oh, they're probably poisoned. I'm so, I'm such a cynic. Nothing made us happier than the sight of Mary Jane returning to the shelter from the surface. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Well, how, what do you want me to do? I, I can't do anything. There's no option for, like, do you want to be extra cautious? On a scale of 1 to 10, how cautious do you want to be? Fucking 10! I haven't seen that screen in my journal yet. Alright, or that page in my journal. We found our way to a nearby hospital, which, despite heavy structural damage, is still standing. The site wasn't pretty, though. What used to be inside the hospital is now all over the place, whatever survived the blast wave anyway. The canteen had a respectable supply of tomato soup. It looks like this was the only thing they fed their patients. That's why hospital food sucks. Now we're 100% sure it's healthy. Actually, hospital coffee shops are really good, though. It's strange. There were plenty of bottles of liquid in one of the wards. Peroxide or not, water is water, and beggars can't be choosers. That's right. Um, it was kind of hard to find a fully equipped first aid kit. After all, it is a hospital. Oh, it wasn't hard. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. That's not making any sense. So plus one on the first aid kit. One of the surviving hospital beds had a gas mask hanging on, along with a note that read... Where this patient smells really bad. Oh man, that's a confident, that's a HIPAA violation. Should be looking at people's charts. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane is really tired. Okay, so she's hungry. Timmy's good. Uh, Dolores is good. Ted's good. So let's get Mary Jane some food. Not like we don't have enough to, to go around. State of the wasteland remains unknown. Yeah, we're going to send somebody out. Ted seems in really good shape for a trip. Dolores is pretty good. Mary Jane's surely dies. She goes out, she's too tired. 
He's in good health and full of optimism. Uh, really good shape. I think we're going to go with Ted. It says really good shape, so let's do it. There's only so many things you can do in a tiny bunker, so we thought, hey, why not play some games? They're just not for kids, you know. Day 23. Where's my... Yeah, I want to hear the radio. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying, and we quickly, quickly stopped. Everybody has to drink sometimes, including Mary Jane. Timmy needs to eat. Timmy needs to drink. Uh, Dolores needs water. Dolores is still fatigued. And Ted is really thirsty. So, water for Ted. Water for Dolores. Water for Mary Jane. Water for Timmy. And food for Timmy. Timmy gets both. Everybody else gets water. Alright, there we go. About time we chose somebody. Scavenge. Okay, it's going to be Ted this time. Day 24. Mary Jane is feeling safe. Who wouldn't? And it's coffin size shelter. The news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Today's relatively calm for Dolores. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. Everybody should be good. A stranger pushing a rusty wheelbarrow filled with all kinds of good stuff by today. He claimed he's a trader looking to barter for items he requires. So his first offer is one water in exchange for some cards. Next one is the offers of water in exchange for a bug spray which I'm not going to give up and then his next offers two waters in exchange for the boy scout book which we don't have so the only thing we have is a bug spray that we can offer and then he offers one water for a flashlight what a ripoff I guess if you're desperate for water it'd be worth it but now nah, we're good send him on his way no deal man no deal we got plenty of water day 25 everyone's looking a little tattered fatigue fatigue tired hungry fatigued all right so she's hungry See how hungry she is. Let's see. She's quite hungry. All right, so we'll feed her. Tim's good. Dolores is fine. We refused to trade. Hopefully, we made the right choice. But the trader was not too happy about that. Well, screw him. <laughs> Piss off. And <laughs> how about we offer you water for a flashlight? That would be a trade I'd go for. All right, so Mary Jane's hungry. Let's feed her. All right, how about that lake we've been going to? Well, we've already read that one. Day 26. What's everybody doing? Thirsty, hungry, fatigued. Thirsty, tired, fatigued. Thirsty. So everyone's thirsty. But mama needs food and water. Still better be safe down here than dead up there. Yeah. Very thirsty. Has to drink something. Can't leave Timmy without water too long. So, yeah, alright. We received another army transmission this morning. We wish it would mark the end of our stay in our shelter, but it seems the military has other plans. All the survivors in the area were asked to head to the nearby park and chop down as many trees as possible. Aha! That's why we have an X. To aid in the... I thought that was actually a fly on my screen for a second. It hasn't been bothering me for like 25 in-game days, but now suddenly I think that there's a fly. Tripping out here, people. Tripping out. Just work 12-hour shift. To aid in the evacuation effort. Whatever that means, we might, may as well join in and speed this whole affair up. Let's do it. Let's go play Axeman. Day 27. Oh, I hope Ted returns. Come on. We chopped down as many trees as we could. It wasn't much, but hopefully it'll make the difference they wanted. The next time they get in touch, it better be from a tank parked on our lawn. Or what's left of it. Uh, or what's left it. Okay. Our only regret is that this wood chopping business ruined our axe. How, how can you ruin your axe one trip out to chop wood? Mary Jane's feeling safe. Who wouldn't this cause? Timmy's very hungry. So we give him some food. And Dolores is fine. So Timmy just needs a little bit of food. We were discussing plans for our first meal that didn't feature tomato soup. And we heard, I'm thinking like grilled cheese sandwiches. But then what would you have with it? I mean, there, you got to have something else. You can't just have one, one item. Mm, I don't know. Vegetable. No. Uh, when we heard yells outside, we discovered they came from a small group of ragged survivors. They were sorry sight, and we weren't surprised when they requested aid. They asked us to provide anything we could, food, water, food, medical supplies. Well, let's see if we have anything we can spare. 2.5 and 4. I think we can spare a can of food. So let's give them some food. Good karma. Good karma. 
Oh, Ted's back. Day 28. Oh, he's not looking so good. That's okay. We got we got meds. We got meds. Meds for Ted. Meds meds for Ted's. Um, our visitors had problems finding enough words to express their gratitude. Many tears were shed. Stop doing that. You're wasting water. Jeez. Smiles and hugs exchanged, and they wished us all the best. It's a great feeling to help somebody out. They left soon after to seek shelter in the ruins of our town. We hope they make it out of there. Make it out there. Uh, Ted has safely returned from his voyage. We believe that our expedition to the wasteland must have been followed by strangers. We should be more cautious next time. Jeez. How many times are we going to have to learn that? Oh, wait a minute. He brought himself the Boy Scout book and the flashlight. How did I miss that? It's sitting right over there. I mean, Tim's even staring at him. Uh, our house wasn't the only one to suffer. Most of our neighborhood was destroyed by the blast. The street was completely covered with piles of rubble, chunks of walls, and roof tiles. A rare passerby in a gas mask can occasionally be seen from a distance scavenging for supplies. We found one of our neighbors picking up books. He claimed he was looking for one titled How to Serve a Man. Apparently. <laughs> hmm, I guess he's really hungry. Apparently it's a cookbook. All he found was a scout handbook which he gave to us. It's not the same, he claimed, for reasons he didn't go into. A band of kids were playing war in nearby ruins. They had plenty. Try Lecter's house. Try Dr. Lecter's house. I think he's like the third house down on the left. The one with the pretty pansies out front. They had plenty of real guns and ammunition. It was very encouraging to see kids that were making the best of the terrible, terrible situation. Even they, sh they even shared some of the ammunition for us. Oh, that's nice. The debris formed a tunnel of sorts. At the end of the tunnel was a bright light. We were amazed. We were frightened. We were curious. We soon discovered the means of all this. Yep, it was a flashlight that was still lit, even after 28 days. I guess it could have been a survivor that dropped it just seconds before, but I'm going to stick with my 28-day sarcastic remark. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble today, so no triple dare to cross her path. She's kind of a badass. Nothing new to report on Timmy. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Uh, Ted's hungry. Ted's got sick and he's really tired. So let's get him some meds. Um, everybody else is good. Let's get him some meds. Let's get him some food. Feed a cold or something like that. I don't know. There's no way we can send Ted out there in this current state. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and do another expedition. Not certain about the situation on the surface. The trip could be risky, but we could really use supplies. You know, I think we're gonna stay. We're actually gonna stay inside for a minute here because we got we're pretty well stocked. So I think we're gonna wait. Maybe we can go and run out and meet the army together. So no, we're not gonna go out. We're a regular family, so we have the occasional argument or two, but it was never as intense as the fight we just got into. No one wants to speak to each other. Let's just hope this won't last too long. We even have board games. Day twenty nine. Come on, let's hear from the army. We could barely sleep after all that arguing. Let's hope it won't happen again. Water is what Mary Jane needs most right now. Mary Jane has rested. Timmy doesn't eat much, but he should drink. There must be some water left. Flora should get it. Ted needs water. Water for Ted. Water for Dolores. Timmy needs water. Mary Jane needs uh, water. Water for all. Ted has recovered from a sickness. All right, good. So now let's give everybody a water. Mm. Okay, we'll try going out now since this message seems a little more safe. Uh, and we're going to send Mary Jane again. Wasteland is no match for her. She's awesome. Where are they going to go crazy in this tire shelter? It's crawling with little insects or worse. Worse, they're spiders. And not some miniature ones, but huge furry creepy beasts. We got to do something about Oh, you know what? I forgot about this. You can click on this and it gives you a tip each day. It takes a few days to recover from malnutrition. So, there you go. Tip of the day. It's like a fortune cookie from the Boy Scouts. Okay, so we're gonna squish these with the, uh, yeah, you know what, we'll use the, uh, we'll use the uh, bug spray. So, all right, let's use it. Hate to see us lose the Boy Scout mate. What the frick had just happened to her? What the, what the hell just happened to Mary Jane? She was fine just a second ago. What is going on with her? What did she do? What did we do with that bug spray? Uh, is there any tips about this? If in doubt, don't take risk. Okay, that doesn't help. Oh my god. If there's one thing that can drive star spiders away and stop us climbing up the furniture is a bug killing spray. This was the right time to unleash this deadly weapon with the result. We're excellent. We eradicated 404 of those little bastards. We even found a water bottle stashed in the corner. It was a good day. During our victorious fight with dozens of spiders, 
When we got lucky and ah, bit Mary Jane. Didn't seem serious, but when we got up this morning, she was different. <laughs> Mary Jane's diet could use a little food. She's gonna be amazing out on the wasteland looking like that. Oh my gosh, she's gonna be like super scavenger beast. All right, Timmy seemed okay as much as he can be in her current. Dolores, so she needs to eat something. Dolores needs to eat something, and Mary Jane needs to eat something, and hopefully not someone. So I think it was Dolores, right? Yeah. Oh my gosh, a bit terrifying. Pretty. Oh, she's good to go. We can send her out. <laughs> Mutated Mary Jane. Go get them. <laughs> Day 31. <laughs> that was a bit terrifying. Alright, a bit different. Mary Jane went outside. Let's hope she hurries back. Tim should eat something. It's Tim needs to eat. Um, Dolores is good. Ted's. We'll wait on them. It's become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter over the last couple of hours. We suspect there's something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck somehow. We need to investigate or we might suffocate. Um, I think we use the... Let's try using the Boy Scout manual. Oh no, I kind of want to use a flashlight. It doesn't matter, I guess. Yeah, let's use the Boy Scout manual. I don't know how that'll work, but... Oh, I also want my daily tip. Hold on. Think ahead. Oh, okay. Jeez. What happened? Oh, our axe got destroyed. Fighting trees. Go figure. Okay, Boy Scout manual. Okay, we still got our Boy Scout manual. That's good. Ted's looking sick again. What the hell's wrong with him? He's a little sicky, isn't he? Alright. He's looking alright. Using the handbook to research vent maintenance seemed like a fair idea. We figured out it was full of pointers on how to fix things. Must have a chapter on nuclear shelter air filtration systems. Uh, before we could even check, we were invaded by a group of angry mutant insects which flew out of the, that cursed vent. Their stings hurt like hell and seemed to give us a fever. Timmy is very hungry. Timmy can't live. He needs water badly. Dolores needs a drink. Ted's stomach is rumbling. So feed Ted. Or no, give, just give everybody something to drink. That's what we're going to do. And Timmy's going to get food and water. Food and water, drink, drink. It's tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope it will be over, this will be over soon. We might end up dead in some wasteland ditch or bomb shelter. That's not something we are looking forward to. All right, day 33, so well over a month. Ted's hungry, sick, tired, fatigued. Wow, she's fatigued and he is fatigued. It's easy to feel a bit down when living underground like that. No sunshine, no sky. We need to get rid of that pessimism and try to bring some cheerfulness to our lives. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is very, being very brave. Dolores is quite calm given the situation. Ted's stomach is rumbling, so... Timmy is good to go. Dolores is good to go. Ted's stomach's rumbling, so let's get him something to eat. Bandits are at the door promising us the worst fate we can imagine if we don't let them in. It's time to make a stand or surrender, and we don't have any weapon. We're gonna lose. The end! Are you kidding me? We're doing so. Oh no. Oh no. Can I read my journal while they're. Pretend. Oh, this is not the ending we pictured captured in our own shelter by bandits. Goodbye, cruel world. Or should be hello, cruel world, shouldn't it? We held up for 34 days. How come we never found out anything more about the fucking military? Said dead air and then the end. You perished. Well, Mutant Mary Jane survived. Oh well, guys. Well, we tried to survive. It was a good time. I hope you enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Leave a thumbs up if you would like to see me attempt survival again. <clears throat> and share that. Maybe I'm coming down with some sickness. I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to check on that. So, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the tip jar, and um, yeah, if you guys uh, like it, I'll do some more episodes like this. They're kind of fun, a little different than uh, the Long Dark, and uh, uh, it's a good, uh, good. What the? That was a freaking UFO. Did you see that? Oh well. See you in the next one, guys.